Reiki session. This session is all about supporting you, helping you, sending you lots and lots of love. This is a Reiki session that's all about caring for you when you've had a bad day. So if you've had a bad day, maybe you've had a bad week or a bad month, I'm sending you so much love and support and this will all be all about just balancing and aligning your chakras so that you can start to feel a little bit better. Maybe just 10%. I'm going to begin by lighting a little bit of sage. We're going to do some clearing. How does that sound? present moment. Sink into the here and now. The most important thing that you can do right now is just be present. So if you're ruminating on the day, if you're Casting your mind into the future with anxious thoughts about tomorrow. If you're reliving past experiences or maybe even some human mistakes. It's okay. But just gently guide your attention back to the present moment. Right here, right now. You're safe. You're cared for. You're loved. you've had, you know, some things that have come up for you today that you really can't shake, you're having a hard time, they've got their claws in, their talons in, and you just, you're having a hard time shaking it. I just want 
to validate you that hard days are they can really impact our whole energy system they can offset our weak but they can also be things that we can learn from and heal from so we can clear this day and release it we have it in our ability to decide where we're putting our attention to take any lessons from the day sort of sift through all of the dirt and find little nuggets of gold within the day whether that's things we're really grateful for or lessons that can be learned from the day about the way that you view the world the way that you respond to the world and how that might make you want to behave differently in the future if you've made a mistake today just recognizing that that doesn't mean that you're you're a mistake you made a mistake it's the, about the most human thing you could do is you made a mistake so we're just trying to recognize what happened and then doing our best to search for any positives validating a hard day and then just trying to clear anything so i was listening to the daily stoic and he was talking about Epictetus, the Stoic philosopher, and how when we put our attention on something that is not serving us, that's something out of our control. It's like the serenity prayer. But there are things in life we can control and things in life we can't. And when we put our attention on the things that we can't control let's say even if we put half of our attention on the things that we can't control that's really problematic in terms of resource allocation within us we want to be putting our attention into things we can control so things like well if i made a mistake you know i can't control going back and rewriting that or doing it differently but what I can do is learn from that mistake and try to develop different systems so that I don't make that same mistake. You can't control other people. You can't control external circumstances a lot of times. So it's really important to recognize what you can control and what you can't, and then really focus on what you can control. So you know, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. The serenity prayer is great for this. And we can apply that to all aspects of life, and we can apply that to our day. If you've had a hard day, just remember that. Recognizing what you can control recognizing what you can't control with what you can't control having the serenity to accept that what you can control having the courage to control that and then most importantly having the wisdom to know the difference but it's so human and so universal that we have Epictetes talking about it we have philosophers throughout the, you know centuries who talk about it we have you know in program speech they talk about it so it's it's obviously something that we all move through which can connect us and maybe help us to mitigate some shame that might come up if we are in that kind of place but if you've had a hard day and you just feel blah you're just feeling poorly, bad about yourself, bad about circumstances, you know, then what we can do here is just start to practice present moment living 
and awareness. When we start to see what we're feeling, what we're moving through, how we're responding to our lives, we can look at it clearly. That's when we can start to make decisions about our lives that can have a really powerful impact. So I'm going to go a little bit firmer now. More aggressive, maybe, if you wanted to just really call out those things you'd like to clear from your day. So let's light our candle and set our intention now, okay? I hope the thing that you take away from this session is just that you're not alone. You're not alone, my friend. There are so many energies around you, floating all around you that are supporting you. I'm here to support you. I'm sending you so much love. So we're going to be using our Palo Santo Natural Coconut Apothecary Candle. And that everything's going to be okay. So on behalf of your highest, wisest, most empowered and aligned self, in loving comfort and in perfect balance, I wish to conduct this Reiki session for helping to lift you, supporting you as you move through Whatever it is that this day has brought up for you. And helping you sift for any gold from this day. Very often when we have challenges come into our lives, those challenges can tend to override any positivity that's present as well. So we want to try to integrate all of these different things if that's available to us. So recognizing that we've had a hard day, recognizing that there were things about this day that were really challenging, and also recognizing that there were a lot of beautiful things about this day too. Because even in the darkest of hours, we can still find beauty 
You know, life isn't all darkness or all light. It's a beautiful melding of the two. So trying to recognize the truth of the moment in its entirety, the truth of how these things made you feel, and also some of the other great things that are that are there to reflect some light and gratitude in your life as well. But it's so hard to see that when we're really focused on on all the challenges. So just know that I'm sending you love as you move through this. And sometimes we don't want to be grateful. We want to stay in the negativity. We want to stay there and we want to have that. That makes total sense. But just inviting a little bit more space. Seeing if it's possible to invite just a touch more space. So feel free to set your own intention. And as long as it serves all of our highest wise selves, then I will honor that intention and see it through time and space to where and whenever it's applicable. some stones, then I'm going to use a rattle, and then I'm going to use a singing bowl, okay? So I'm going to start by placing this carnelian. This is a polished carnelian. Great for the sacral chakra. It's also wonderful to meditate with this stone. It's called the artist stone. It's great for emotional balance, for creativity, if you're struggling with any kind of fertility issues or reproductive issues, you could take a carnelian and place it over your sacral. I'm going to place this here. this rose quartz just to send you so much love so much love and support and a gentleness an ease and a gentleness here I'm gonna place that right there this universal love is just flowing all through you sometimes it's easy to get sucked into the vortex of negative thought when we start having these challenges and so not only does it override our day or this specific challenge, we can, it can also send it like sort of turn the switch for negative thinking, critical thinking of ourselves or others, judgmental thought patterns, and it can kind of suck us down a vortex with this negative thought. So we just want to remember that while there are challenges, there is also a lot of love in the world. While there are hardships, there's also a lot of support and care and kindness. So just recognizing that both can exist at the same time. <sighs> Filling you up with light, with warm light, soothing and caring for you. I'm going to use this really clicky clacky rattle now. I'm going to shake up your energy and the purpose of this is just kind of shake it up the day. It's a great thing to do if you've had a rough day in between work and your personal life, you know, life after work. 
to separate that with something so you could separate that with a walk a walk is such a powerful thing to just separate our day and create um, a little bit of movement and available space for processing and for inviting a new energy so if you have um, let's say you work from home. I was working with a client recently, if you're watching, hi, who worked from home and really had a hard time separating the work-life balance or developing work-life balance and separating work and, and personal life. And so the encouragement I gave was a few different like rituals to do at the end of the work day, but then also just taking a walk, taking a walk just to unwind just to release the day, getting out in nature, being connected to the elements, that can be so helpful just to shake up the energy. We can be using the rattle in much the same way, especially with this like very intense kind of clicky clacky rattle. It's gonna be great for shaking up that energy. All right, so deep breath, and then on your exhale, just release it through an open mouth. I'm gonna grab my singing bowl now. I'm gonna place it right about here. And we'll just use that to shift your vibration and lift your vibration, okay? This is a large singing bowl. And this is a solar plexus singing bowl. Great for confidence. Great for lifting your vibration, knowing your value, really deeply believing in your sense of self-worth. So we're just filling you up with this sense of worthiness. I see your worth and value. And I want that to extend to you as well.
Okay, my friends. I'd like for you just to take a few slow, deep breaths once again here. I'm going to use this tuning fork. We're really just focusing on lifting. So filling your energy field with this lovely vibration. The wonderful thing about life is that you always get another chance. Tomorrow you have another chance. Tomorrow there's new possibilities opening up. Your future is supporting you. Your future self is waiting for you to step into your light. Just know that we all have hard days. And so if you want to share anything you've been moving through, feel free to share that down below. You know, talk to each other. You're all so supportive of each other, it's amazing. And so please feel free to use this as a community of connection. A place where you can feel more deeply connected with each other, with yourself, with the truth, with gratitude. Feel validated in your experiences and know that you're strong enough to recover from them and move on stronger, more resilient. I have so many challenges and all that. You know, we all have those. We all experience those. And there are differing degrees of what we're experiencing, but that's part of our shared experience here as humans. You're not alone, and you're so loved and so held in support. So let's just clear today, release it, and let's get ready for tomorrow. And after this, I would suggest that maybe you watch one of my sleep videos 
So maybe I'll link one of those here. Somewhere. <laughs> I think it's like up here during the video and then after the video it'll be on the screen here. But just really try to take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself because you are so deserving of care and kindness. So it's just working like a little energetic vacuum, vacuuming up the day. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sending you so much love and support. Your only homework is just to take really good care of yourself. Get a good night's sleep. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to each other. And until we meet again, be so, so well. Imagine the aroma just swirling in and flowing all through your body. <sighs> Which can be directed and channeled with laser-like precision to help you accomplish tasks and achieve objectives. Cool. This is going to be a really powerful time for you. Two super empowering cards. You have this fiery energy and you have like the earth and the roots, the roots and the ancestors. It's like star and earth and fire. Find as comfortable a position as you can. Maybe close your eyes. You could lie down. Whatever feels right for you. And let's begin today with gratitude. Whatever position you find yourself in, bring to heart one thing for which you are grateful. 